All right. So we have our meeting recorded. So that way we are all sitting on the rug. I'm going to go ahead and present my screen for those who are learning online at home. All right. All right. Does everybody see our high frequency words page? Give me a thumbs up if you can see. I see that Clinton has it. Sebastian, Rolando, do you have the high frequency words page in front of you? Yeah. No. No. Okay. So I'm going to stop presenting and then I'm going to see if I can get it back up. Hmm. All right. Do you see it now, Rolando? Okay. All right. So. Omar, how should we be sitting? We got to be ready to learn. All right. Harlow, do you mind cracking the door a little bit so that Bella can come back in quietly? There you go. Just like that. That would be perfect. Oh. All right. Guys, make sure that when you're online that you mute your mic so that we're not cutting out with the... The why background you, noise. Why do you don't have no mask on? Well, I have, they have to see me, and then I put it back on later. But why can't you not put the space? I could do that, too. But well, I'll do it later. Have a seat. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do the high-frequency words. So remember, you keep yourself on mute. So make sure that red microphone's on. And then the kids here, you will say after I say it, okay? okay. All right. Ready? Oops. Where am I at? There we are. Do. Do. Give. Give. He. He. Line. Line. Said. Said. Set. Set. Seven. Seven. Sure. Sure. Upon. Upon. Walk. Walk. All right. So now we're going to do our spelling words. So this week, guys, we were just talking about spelling words. I am sending them out, but we will not have a spelling test this week. So every other week we will have it. So next week we will have a spelling test. But this week we're just going to practice saying those words. Okay. That way. Um, we're not overwhelming y'all. And, um, so this week we'll take a, a, a grade on your story quiz. So you remember last week we did spelling test and the spoon quiz, remember? So now we're going to break those up. So that way we don't, you don't have two tests on Friday, just one. Okay. So this week we're going to be reading a new story. So that means what happens if we have a new story, we have new Power words. Remember those power words that we do, the vocabulary cards? Mm -hmm. So then we're going to um, jump into a new story today. But first, we're going to finish our spelling words. I just wanted to let you all guys know that's what's going to be happening this week. So spelling words, we're just saying them. Remember, there is no spelling test this week. All right. So the first word is cake. Cake. Mine. Mine. Plate. Plate. Size, Size. Eight. Eight. Grape. Grape. Prize. Prize. White. White. Race. Race. Line. Line. Good job. All right. So I'm going to stop presenting my screen for a second. All right. Um, guys, I'm going to need to go over there in this direction. Actually, no, I don't. Not, I don't need the board today. But I do have to say that we are practicing our long A and our long I. Remember? A, acorn. So let's go ahead and repeat that. Ready? A, acorn. Oh, I didn't hear everybody. I heard most of the people online. I saw them say it. So let's pay attention. A, acorn. No, A, 
Acorn. Acorn. There we go. Remember, I. I. Ice cream. Ice cream. So both of those, acorn and ice cream, we are saying the A and the I. That's that's telling us that we are doing the long A and the long I. Remember also on our spelling words, you will notice the V, C, final E spelling pattern. Remember, vowel, consonant, final E or sneaky E. So remember when we had the word grape. So guys, let me, I actually do need the board. Excuse me. I'm going to come over here. Oops. All right. So here's the board. Can y'all see the board at home? All right. So that we know that the word grape is one of our spelling words. And remember, Mrs. Fullington found the vowel, consonant, silent E. That's why we cross it out. Well, what are you supposed to do, Harlow? Thank you, ma'am. All right. We also have race. R-A-C-E. Race. I know that A is our what? Our vowel. vowel. And our C is our consonant. And then our sneaky E is our silent, silent. E. So we Sorry. never that e it's always sneaky all right so that is our cv final e spelling pattern and so with that we're going to practice some sounds together okay so you ready so you might want to turn this direction towards me so it says here you're going to help me blend the sounds to say the word so then you will say the vowel sound and tell me if it's long or short Okay, so I will do the first one to, to show you how. So I have the word, nope, you got to listen for it. So you can't see it, you're just listening. That's a good question. Carla said, um, are you going to put it on the board? Nope, you're going to only listen to the sounds. So the first word is bake. Well, I know that bake has an A, so it has the A sound, so it is the long A sound, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to call on somebody. Hid. Hid. Roxton, tell me the vowel and tell me if it's short or long. Um, hid. Um, the vowel is I. Uh-huh. Is it short or long? Long. So remember, I, ice cream, I'm actually saying it. I, igloo, that means it's what? It's short. It's short. Good job. All right. Now, someone in the classroom, I have the word hide. So, Bella, tell me the vowel. What's hide? Remember, our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Hide. It's a long, but what is the what is the vowel? Is it a what? It's not E. It's the E, the, the I sound, the I, right? But it is long. You were correct on the long part. That's good. All right. We're going to do... One, we're going to do two more. I have Kane. Kane, Mackenzie. The vowels is A and it is long. And it is long. So Mackenzie said the, the vowel is A and it is a long A sound. And it is right. She's, a, she's exactly right. Good job. All right. Now we're going to do. Uh, where's it at? I had it. Where did it go? Oh, I guess that's it. Hmm, we did pretty fast. All right, so now I'm going to post our our blending words, and we're going to say these words together. You ready? All right, so go ahead and face the screen, kids in class. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Blend. I mean, let me go ahead and present this. Hmm? Our first what? Yes, this is this is part of our new reading lesson. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. oh, well, we had it. We're, we just had to skip it for a second for time. All right. Can y'all see my blue screen with a whole bunch of words on there? So the first word is dime. Y'all see it? All right. So we're going to say those together. You ready? One, two, three. Dime. Lane. Take. We're going to say it together all at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Line. Hid. Wave. Dive. Case. So now what we're going to do is we're going to blend those words in a sentence and we're going to say them together. Ready? One, two, three. Dave will take a five mile bike ride. And so we're going to do this one. So that was a long one, right? So Dave was taking a, how long of a mile bike ride? Five. five. All right. So now we're going to read this one together. You ready? One, two, three. Jane and Jan made dad a big pancake. Ooh, so what was happening in that sentence? Someone online, someone online, tell me what happened in that last sentence about Jane and Jan. What were they doing in that sentence? Rolanda? They're making him a big pancake. Yeah, they're making their dad a huge pancake, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They're making me hungry. How about y'all? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So we are going to jump into our power words. And with our power words, I'm going to stop presenting and you're going to see me. So i move this to the side. So we have some new power words for our story. So I'm going to show them the power words first and then I'm going to show you all. You ready? Just like yesterday. Y'all ready? Let's pay attention. All right, so the first one is planned. planned. So can everybody say planned? planned? Planned. If you planned, you decided ahead of time how you would do something. So that's planned. So we have here this little girl and her mom, and it says we carefully planned a big event. So they're looking at the calendar, and they are planning their event. So Mrs. Flinkton plans your activity. She planned your activities the day before. We have a calendar right there. We do have a calendar, and it tells us that it, um, actually tomorrow is Harlow's birthday. So we planned to say happy birthday to Harlow tomorrow. Yes. Good job. Wait, online. Uh, uh huh. All right. The next one is Miss. perfect. Can y'all say perfect? Miss. Yes, Roxton? My birthday is in two weeks. It's in two weeks. What date is it on? Uh, September 12th. 12th. So we're going to add you on there right now, actually. So that way we, we can plan to say happy birthday to Roxton. Wait, Roxton's birthday Roxton. is coming up? Uh-huh. Two weeks. What about mine? Right now, see. Is it tomorrow? Jorge just says, When's your birthday, Jorge? And the uh, fourth of July, I think. Oh, okay. Well, it, towards the end of the year, we're going to say happy birthday to everybody. That's uh, birthdays are in the summer. I'm coming up. Okay. I'm All right. We'll have them down. Okay. Oh, Clinton, did you have a question or a comment? <laughs> Up. When's your birthday? December 9th. December 9th? Oh, that's easy. Because I have somebody else in my family who has the same birthday as you. So we'll in December we'll put it on the board so we can plan to say happy birthday to you, okay? All right, hold on, pause. Does anybody else's birthday on a September other than Harlow and Roxton? Nope. We'll we'll do yours. All right, so we're gonna go back to our words. You ready? Everybody say perfect. perfect. So when something is perfect, 
It is the best it can be. It says here, the photographer, so you see the photographer? The photographer said it was a perfect day to take pictures outside. So Mrs. Fullington has a ruler always at her desk. This right here. It helps Mrs. Fullington make the perfect lines. So the, I use this ruler to make perfect lines. Make a perfect line. Have a seat. All right, the next one is hamper. Everybody say hamper. Hamper. So a hamper is a basket used to hold dirty clothes. It says, I put my dirty sweatshirt in the clothes hamper. This is, so this right here, Mrs. Fullington has a trash can beside her. So that trash can, this is a trash that you can put a hamper for dirty like trash, like plastic trash or anything like that. Or a bucket. Or a bucket. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We have rules on the carpet. So if Mrs. Fullington sees you lay down, you have to sit back at your seat, okay? All right. All right. Oh, it is. That is absolutely true. All right. The third word it, or the third word the fourth word is disaster everybody say disaster disaster oh, uh-huh a disaster is an event that goes horribly wrong so something in our story is going to go horribly wrong like a creepy pair of underwear her mm -hmm. underwear oh yeah so it says here, my dad was not happy about the disaster my dog made in our living room. That's a disaster. So here's the dog. And you can call a disaster a disaster. Oh, no. He created a disaster. All right. Here's the next one. You ready? Yes. That happened. The next one is scowl. So everybody say scowl. Do you think that's a very nice word? Scowl. So it's just a scowl is an angry frown. Everybody give me an angry face. That's a that's a scowl. When Anna is upset, she makes a scowl. So it says, when I make a scowl, I am angry. I'm always angry. He takes my tablet every time he doesn't ask. Ah. All right, here's the next one. You ready? Mood. Everybody say mood. Yeah, I got mood. Mood. Your mood is the way you are feeling. Happy, mad, sad, mm -hmm. and angry. So everyone is in a different mood today. It says, okay, everybody smile. Show me your best smile. A smile shows I am in a good mood. Good job. Yeah, that's good. All right, here's the next one. You ready? I actually like saying this word. Queasy. Everybody say queasy. Queasy. If you are queasy, your stomach hurts and you feel sick. So everybody act like their stomach hurts and they have a sick face. So it says Sylvia felt queasy after finishing eating. So it says, oh yeah, we just did it. It says clutch your stomach. It says clutch your stomach and look like you're in pain. Oh. It says, Sometimes bad smells make me queasy. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's happened to me. Yep. Where's the one? You ready for the last one? Yeah. Okay. The last one is fiddled. So everybody say fiddled. Fiddled. If you fiddle with something, you keep touching it or playing with it. So if you had like a really cool Lego and you had a hand or a slime or squishy something. You're fiddling with it. So it says Elena fiddled with her hair. So this is when a girl like twirls her hair. It's she fiddles with her hair. Or when you tap a pencil against a desk, you are fiddle. I fiddled this pencil while I was speaking to you. So you're tapping the pencil on the desk. That's fiddle. All right. Go ahead and turn on your attention to the screen. I'm going to show you our poster. So this is the skill we're going to be working on when we do our new story. Okay. So. Teacher, I got one. What is it? I am fiddled playing with my marker. Oh, yeah, you're fiddling with your marker. Good job. Yes, Clinton? My, 
My boy brother just went to school yesterday. Oh, is this his first day? Uh, no. His first day in pre-K-4. Oh, in pre-K-4? Aw, that's exciting. Uh -huh. Awesome. All right. So I am going to present my screen for our new story. So let's go ahead and put our attention over there. So... There it is. All right. Here is our new skill. So our new skill is we're going to create mental pictures or images in our mind. So you remember how your first grade teacher would probably told you to close your eyes and you're going to imagine. So you're going to do like a movie in your head with the movie or with the book. So you're creating mental pictures. So Mrs. Flinton has this really fancy poster. And this fancy poster is going to teach you how to create a mental picture. It's a girl from yesterday. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. All right. Does everybody see my poster of the little girl daydreaming? Do you see our poster? No. Give me a thumbs up if you can see it. Yes? Rolanda, you see it? No, I'm going to stop presenting and I'm going to see if it comes back up again. I could see it. I could see it. All right. How about now? No? I can see it. All right. Rolanda, see if you can log off and log back on to our meetings and see if maybe that will help, too. Because we had some issues last yesterday about that, too. Okay. All right. So while Rolanda, Rolanda's logging in, we're going to talk about this. Rhonda, can you see it now? No? It seems like your internet's a little bit slow because when you move your head around, it freezes on your face. So go ahead and try logging off again, and then I'm going to stop presenting and see if this will work. All right. So I'm going to give it a second. All right, creating mental images. So when you create mental images, you make pictures in your mind to help you remember what you read. So right here we have a little girl and she is closing her eyes when she's reading and she's she is um, making a she's imagining what it would look like from the story. So it says here pictures, sounds, tastes, smells. So you use four of your five senses to help you create a mental picture. Rolando, can you see our screen now? Okay, good. All right, so it says here words from the text. So we know what well, how do we know when, how do we know that what she's imagining? What is she imagining? Turn around, guys. What are they imagining? I know what are they imagining, Omar? They're like, the girl imagining they're playing soccer with her boyfriend. Yeah, they're playing soccer, right? So she's playing soccer with her friend. And so, they're the and they're at the playground or maybe the park. They're yeah. The park. So it says here, words from the text, soccer game, sunny, and ball. Those are the only three clues that they gave her, and this is what she created in her mind. So that's what you're going to do today uh, with our story. And our story is about a little boy on picture day at school. Picture day. Mm -hmm. A picture day at school. So I am going to stop pre stop presenting my screen, and then I'm going to present our story. Okay? Is it violet like a pilot? No, nope, it's a different one. Remember, new powers, different story. Oh, picture day. Yep. All right. All right. So let's see. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so how many of y'all can see now a blue background and it says, prepare to read Picture Day Perfection? Can everybody see that? Mm -hmm. It is. All right, so this is our genre study. So this is how, what kind of story we're going to be reading today. So the genre, the genre is realistic fiction. So that means real make-believe story. So it could be, guys, make sure that we use the text for purpose of questions, okay? Not random letters. So it says here, as you read Picture Day, so it says, oh, wait, I skipped a set. Real, realistic fiction stories are made up but could happen in real life. So as you read Picture Day Perfection, we're going to look for the beginning, middle, and end of the story. We're also going to find who the main characters are and how they act and talk like real people. We're also going to find the problem of the story. And then we're going to use ways, pictures, and words help readers understand the story. But we're also going to set a purpose, okay, guys? Remember that poster that we just saw, Create Mental Images? We're going to create mental images or make pictures in our mind to help us understand details in the text, okay? So we have all our, almost all our powers are in this story itself. So we're going to listen to the author. So let's go ahead and listen to the author. You ready? Deborah Deason has always loved books. In fact, before she was an author, she used to work as a bookseller and a librarian. Now she lives in Michigan and writes silly stories that make children laugh and think. When she is not writing, she likes to read, go for walks, and do crossword puzzles. All right, before we jump into our story, I want us to act like readers. So how do we focus? Remember, we sit up and we put our hands in our lap if we're looking at the screen. Make sure that our knees are in the direction of the screen and we're not laying down at home. We're actually listening to the story. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. All right, so let's go ahead and start our story. Picture Day Perfection by Deborah Deason, illustrated by Dan Santat. Mm, all right, so we're going to do one page at a time so that you can see everything. I'd planned for months. This was going to be the year of the perfect school picture, but some days, not everything goes according to plan. The day started with the worst case of bedhead ever. Exhibit A, front view. Exhibit B, side view. Exhibit C, back view. Exhibit D, the look on my brother's face when he saw my hair. Then it took me quite some time to unearth my favorite shirt. I finally found it at the very bottom of the hamper. You might call it stained. You might call it wrinkled. You might even call it smelly. You wouldn't be wrong. Breakfast was picture day pancakes, a family tradition. This year's festivities involved a small syrup disaster. It is. More accurately described as a large syrup disaster. And it occurred exactly as the bus pulled up. I had a feeling we'd be getting a new family tradition. On the bus, I got into a small bit of trouble. Make that a large bit of trouble. The bus driver made me sit in the seat right behind him for the rest of the ride. By the time I got into school, my picture day face was fixed in a scowl. In class, Mrs. Smith collected our photo order forms. Do you think this is emerald green for my photo background? Or peacock blue? Or pizzazzy purple? No. Once again, of all the backgrounds in the world, Mom checked snoring boring traditional gray. No one 
against traditional gray. Except for me. And it just so happens to be the only color in the world that makes my favorite shirt disappear. All but the stains and the wrinkles. After that, the teacher had us all stand up and practice our picture day smiles. Personally, I thought we needed a little something to get us in the picture day mood. Whoops. Got myself in trouble. Again. Luckily, I got to rejoin the class in time for art. Art involved quite a lot of paint. Or at least it did for me. Finally, it was time to line up for our photos. Ned, just in front of me, got the last complimentary plastic comb. I watched as classmate after classmate smiled for the camera. I got queasy listening to everyone say, cheese. I can't stand cheese. The mere thought of it turns me green, deeply green. And just as my face reached its most awful pea green shade, it was my turn. I stepped forward. I sat down on the stool. It was hard as a rock and cold as an iceberg. Just a sec, said the photographer as he fiddled with the camera knobs. As I sat and waited, everything that had happened rushed through my mind. The monstrous messes, the muddles and the mix-ups. The whole day, from the moment I'd rolled out of bed, had gone. Perfectly. Even better than planned. This year, I was finally going to have the perfect school picture. And that's when I heard a click. In a flash, all my hard work, my perfectly tangled hair, my perfectly rumpled shirt, my perfectly sticky face, my perfectly composed scowl, that perfect boring background, those perfect paint splatters, that perfect sickly pallor. Wasted. Useless. Ruined. In a moment of weakness. By an unexpected smile. Mom says it's my best picture ever. But just wait till she sees next year's. All right. So that was, what was the story called? Picture Perfect Perfection. So who was our character? What was his name? What was his name? Does anyone remember? No. So who was he? Did they, they might have not said his name. So who was he? Jim, yeah. that was his name. And what did Jim do? Yeah. He made a happy the ending. He saw the flies and then he made a smile. Yeah, but who was he? We gotta learn who he is. He was a. He was. He looks. Bella, who was he? Who was he? Was he a teacher? No, he was a. He was a kid. He was a student at school, wasn't he? And what was happening on the day that he planned this glorious plan? What was happening? That was the problem, right? Maple syrup all over him. Paint all over him. Stains on his shirt. Maybe his shirt was dirty. So those were all the problems. That's okay, Braxton. We've got... Um, I told your mom we're recording the meeting for you, okay? So you can rewatch it. All right. Yeah, but it was picture day. I heard somebody say it was picture day. So what else did we say we needed to look for? Did we create a mental picture in our mind what his day might have been like? 
Yeah, it was kind of like ours, right? Where we go to art class. Actually, today we do go to art class. <laughs> That's funny. So we go, you know, we're going to art class for specials. So he went, we have breakfast in the mornings with our parents, right? Not like that, but like we have breakfast in the morning sometimes. Most of the times we do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. But those are some things that we normally do on a school day basis, right? Oh, and we have lunch. Mm -hmm. and we have lunch and breakfast, and we have picture day too. So those are some we we can relate to Mr. Jim there. Don't can't we? So Mrs. Fullington has a an activity that she wants to show you in in seesaw. It's only one. So let me go ahead and show you that. Miss Fullington, one second, I'm sorry, I can't hear you because this machine is going off. Oh, that's okay. Oh. We, ha we have this recorded, okay? All right, so we're going to go into our activities. And you only have one activity to do today. So you only have one activity to do in Seesaw. And so it is, where am I at? There we go. Let me go ahead and present the screen here. Let's see. Now, can you see the seesaw activ activity? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so on this activity, we're practicing long A and long I, like we practiced this morning on sounds. And remember that V, C, final E pattern. So the directions say on this page specifically, it says the word gate has a has a v, v c e pattern vowel consonant final e in words with a v c e pattern the first vowel stands for a long sound and the final e is sneaky and silent so the triangle is your directions it says complete each sentence use each word from the box once so you're only going to use the box the word bank one time the words there. So the words are eight, safe, lake, like, time, and wade. So it says here, let's do number one together. It says dad and Kate walk to the park. Nope, look at the, the words right here. Is it eight, safe, lake, lake? Lake like time wade to the lake. So number one would be lake. So we already did number one together. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do two through six on your own in seesaw. Remember, you can use the T to type or the pencil to write um, with the writing tool, the drawing tool. Okay. So go ahead and log out of this meeting and go straight to seesaw. Okay. All right, guys, we will see you later. Bye. Remember to log into Miss Lil's class, okay? Bye. Bye. Whose birthday is tomorrow? Whose birthday is tomorrow? Yeah. It's, it's Harlow's birthday. Bye, baby, Trevor. All right, guys, go ahead and log out. Who's silent? Hey, Biff. Uh, hey, Biff. Hey, Biff.